hello guys a little progress each day adds up to big results so let us start our day with a little progress so today we are going to discuss the topic called face detector so already in previous video i will discuss the topic face lock loop in face lock loop the face detector is the main component which is used to compare the input signal frequency with the signal coming from the feedback path so today we are going to discuss the face detector and what are the different types of the face detector and how the different types of face detector will work so the face detector is the most important part of the pll so mainly there are two types of face detectors so the first one is the analog face detector and the second one is the digital face detector so today we are going to study about the analog face detector so in analog face detector also we are having the two types switch type analog face detector and balanced type analog face detector so let us start our discussion with the switch type analog face detector so already we know about switch what is the work of switch whenever we will switch on anything that is nothing but the closed contact so if you remove the contact that is the switch is in the off position so similarly the switch type analog face detector work so it is just like the switch so depending on the signal applied at the vco depending on the signal applied at the vco the switch may be in on condition or the switch may be in off condition so the prins the principle of analog face detection is using the switch type face detector so depending on the signal applied at the vco so already we have studied about the vco here the vco is the voltage controlled oscillator so depending on the signal coming from the vco the switch may be in on condition or the off condition so let us go in brief about the switch type face detector so let us say the input signal let us say the input signal applied at the here is some vs vs sin 2 pi fct and fst and some other signal applied at the vco let us let us assume that signal we may be vo sin 2 pi f not t plus pi so the input signal here some input signal applied at the input of the switch that is vs sin 2 pi fct and the vco signal is some v not sin 2 pi f not t plus pi so here the switch type analog phase detector is nothing but the multiplier it will multiply the signal coming from the input that is vs sin 2 pi fst and it will also multiply the signal that is v not sin 2 pi f not t plus pi so the analog type switch detector multiplies these two signals as a product it gives vs into v not sin 2 pi fst and sin 2 pi f not t plus pi so here k is the constant value that is the multiplication of that constant value so where k is the phase comparator gain that is nothing but some constant value and here between input and output we are having the phase difference of pi so input signal is vs sin 2 pi fst and the uh, VCO signal is V not sin 2 pi F not t plus pi and the phase difference is pi. So here sin A sin B formula is 1 by 2 cos A minus B and cos A plus B. So according to that here we are having K V S V not sin 2 pi F S T sin 2 pi F not t plus pi. So here A value is 2 pi F S T and B value is the 2 pi F not t plus pi. So here the formula is sin A sin B equal to 1 by 2 cos A minus B minus cos A plus B by 2. So cos constant value is K V S V naught by 2 cos A value is 2 pi F S T minus B value is 2 pi F naught T minus pi and minus cos A plus B is 2 pi F S T plus 2 pi F naught T plus pi. So here let us say let us say the pll is in lock condition so whenever the pll is in lock condition then the input frequency equal to the output frequency that is fs equal to f naught so whenever you substitute fs equal to f naught in this equation so 2 pi k k vs v naught by 2 cos 2 pi f naught t minus 2 pi f naught t so these two terms gets cancelled out and you are left with only minus pi 
and here minus cos 2 pi f naught t plus 2 pi f naught t plus pi. So 2 pi into 2 f naught t plus pi. So this shows that the pace comparator output contains a double frequency term that is 2 pi f naught t term. So the phase comparator output contains the double frequency term that is 2 f naught t term and here we are having the DC term that is k v s v naught by 2. So here the cos pi is the cos pi is the output of this phase detector. So in order to this is the error from the, the output of the phase detector is nothing but the error signal. So in order to eliminate this error signal we have to choose some pi value. In order to eliminate this error signal we have to choose some pi value. So let us understand the concept by using the waveforms. So here I am taking the in waveforms. So let us say this is the VCO output that is the feedback output and this is the input. So whenever you are taking the pi value 0. Pi value 0 in the sense in the previous discussion in the previous discussion we are having some pi value. So in the previous discussion we are having some equation. So in this equation if you substitute in this equation if you substitute pi value equal to 0 pi value equal to 0 then you will get some error value. If you substitute pi value equal to 0 in this equation then you will get some error and that error value is positive. That's why if you observe the waveform if you observe the waveform, so here if you substitute pi value equal to 0, then the error value is positive. If you substitute pi value equal to 0, pi value equal to 0 in the sense cos pi value is 0. So if you substitute pi value equal to 0 in this equation, sorry, pi value equal to 90 in this equation, then pi cos 90 value is 0. So cos 90 value is 0, that's why, that's why, this VE, the output of the phase detector becomes 0. So whenever the pi value is 0, pi value is 0, this equation becomes positive and whenever the pi value is 90, this equation becomes the 0. So once you observe the waveform, so if you substitute pi value 0, the error will be positive. So the positive peaks indicates the error is positive. So if you substitute pi value equal to 90, the cos 90 value is 0. That's why here the whatever the positive error we are getting, that will be cancelled out by the negative error. That's why the error becomes 0. So if you substitute pi value equal to 180, then cos 180, so it will be gives the error value is negative. So this is all about the analog phase, uh, switch type phase detector. So in analog phase detector type we are having two types switch type and balanced modulator type. In switch type just depending on the VCO signal applied at the input depending on that signal the switch may be on condition or off condition. So if you apply the VCO signal the input signal is VS sine 2 pi FST and v, uh, VCO signal is VC 2 pi FS sorry f not t plus pi that means there is a pace difference between the input signal and the vco signal and the switch type pace detector multiplies these two signals according to that we will have the output and depending on the pi value the output may be positive or negative if pi value is 0 the output is positive we are getting the positive error if the pi value is 90 we are getting the zero, zero error if the pi value is 180 we are getting the negative error so the switch type pace detector is having the two drawbacks. One drawback is nothing but the pi value. Here the output error value is directly does not depend on the pi value. It depends on the cos pi value. So this be, in this way the uh, circuit becomes the non-linear because here the pi value sorry here the error is depends on the cos pi value not on the directly pi value. This makes the circuit is uh, more non-linear and here if you observe the output equation if you observe the output equation so we are getting we are getting kc k vs v naught by 2 that means the error is depends on the input signal also so if you want to reduce the error you may change the amplitude of the input signal also v equal to k vs into v naught by 2 so the error value is depends on the input signal amplitude also. This is also one more disadvantage of the 
स्विच टाइप एनालॉग फेस डिटेक्टर थैंक यू ऑल होप यू अंडरस्टैंड द लेक्चर